In a chin-up or a pull-up static hold, what works well is setting up a barbell in the rack. We just want to make sure that it's high enough so that whoever's performing the exercise is able to fully extend their arms at the bottom position. Now, to set up with this, we're going to begin with our feet out in front of the bar so that when they lower down, they keep their torso at a vertical angle. If you don't do that, it's going to turn more into a rowing motion versus if you're out here, you'll see I'm able to drop down completely vertical. Now, the difference between a pull-up and a chin-up is our palms facing us is a chin-up and a pull-up is our palms facing away from us. With the static holds, what we're going to do is bring our hands right in, okay, we're going to come right up and at this point, depending on the person, okay, you can have two feet here holding for up to 10 seconds, okay, you can go one foot to make it harder and then eventually, okay, you can have them pick up the feet and hold that there. Either one is going to help strengthen their upper back and their arms. The next version after this would be moving to a negative to make it harder to build up towards that chin up and pull. So we bring our feet out here, okay? Then you would go slowly down for three to five seconds, and then you can kind of push up with your legs, slowly down, and push up with your legs. And then finally, once they've mastered that, Okay, then you can start focusing on the regular chin up motion with one foot. So slow down, chin up, and then eventually they'll be able to go from the bottom, pick up their feet and do the chin up. Or of course at that point it might be easier for them to come up here and use the bar. So that's how you do a static hold in a chin up and pull up and how to eventually make it harder for them so they can get closer to that full chin up or pull up.